What is up you guys? I'm super excited today. I have the new sound box. I just got it in the mail today. Haven't opened it, so I'm gonna do my first impressions, just opening the box, checking out the speaker and listening to it for the first time, and I'm so excited. I got this Black Friday deal for $150 off from Soundbox website, and uh, it's originally $999, and I got $150 off, but after tax, all said and done, it was just under $900 total. Let's just check out this box real quick. This side of the box has a picture of the speaker itself. And that one says, go anywhere. Now, the top of the box says, start adventure here. So that's kind of fun. Let's go ahead and start this adventure. So this is supposedly one of the loudest, or if not the loudest, Bluetooth portable speaker in the entire world. And I'm so excited. Oh man. If you know me, this like so fits me because I've always been so into speakers and this has always been something that I've thought about and seen before, but it was like that thing, it's like, oh, it's a thousand dollars. Like, I don't know if I'm like, want to do that. I'm not that serious, but since it's Black Friday, I went ahead and pulled the trigger. And so just one question, where should we go first? That's a good question. Tomorrow, might have to take it with me. I'm going on an adventure. Yeah, this is so exciting. Okay. First thing here, break through the noise. A little envelope. Oh yeah, we got some stickers. Stickers confirmed. So... This is a little Allen head screwdriver. Uh, I think this is for replacing the grill on the speaker because they come in different, you can get like separate grills with like different colors and switch them out. Uh, but they're like $150 for just the grill in a different color. Or like when you order the speaker from their website, you can get it and uh, they come in white and orange. And then there's like a limited edition color called Martian. And that's like kind of like a goldish green. It's a pretty cool color, but I just got the black one. Uh, looks like a warranty information here. They have a two year warranty. And one other cool thing about this Soundbox brand is that they're so confident that they're, that we're gonna like the speaker that they give you a 100 day period to return this speaker for free. So that's awesome. We got three different sticker colors it looks like. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I have to put one on my snowboard or something like that maybe. And then a, uh, looks like just like a quick start guide. So here's some like quick specifications. I'm going to be doing a full review on this after having it for a couple months. But uh, just real quick. So it has three times 72 watt uh, drivers and it's a uh, max SPL volume is 126 decibels, which they claim is like being front row in a concert. So it's pretty loud. Um, it's got two 10 inch woofers and one one inch compression driver tweeter. And it has a battery that is actually, that you can take out of the speaker, which I'll show you that in here in a little bit. But for now, that's cool. I like how they, oh, oh. I like how they put these in an envelope. And then, uh, so I'll throw that aside here. See what else is in the box. Oh, all right, this is the battery packaged separately in a box. How to insert, yeah, so just some quick information on the battery printed there on the box, it's really nice. Let's open it up though. Guys, I'm so excited for this, I can't even explain. Okay, so looks like we have a warranty booklet for the battery itself. And this is the freaking battery, guys. This is the battery. It's like a mini cart. It's like a dirt bike battery. Um, dang. 
there should be a button on here for indicating oh there we go so you can see right here you have these five battery indicators by LED right now it's at three um, and then this is what you use to plug it into the speaker so I'll show you that here in a second let's see what else is in this box uh, charger for the battery Ah. All right, so this is a European plug, I believe. So that's not useful for me because I live in America. So this is a two-piece two-piece charging setup right here. Here's your little box and then the outlet plug and this goes in there. Bada bing, bada boom. And one thing that's cool that they have here on the on the charger is that you can actually wait a minute. Yeah, so wait, hold on. So you can charge the battery like this and then plug this into your speaker and so you can charge the battery while playing music if you want to do that. Otherwise, you would just use this connection to charge the battery separate. Uh, this looks like a box that would be another battery because there's an option that you can buy these with two batteries it's like another 150 or 130 dollars for an extra battery so i think that's what this extra box is but it's empty for me all right speaker time speaker time oh <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh, man. Okay. So, nothing else in the box. You can see they padded the sides pretty nice. Nice heavy-duty box. We'll put that aside. Okay. We done it. We achieved greatness today. Oh man. I can't believe I got this thing, man. I'm serious. This is this is crazy. I've I don't know why, but I've seen this on like their advertisements and stuff and I just I wanted to do it so this is the first thing I'm gonna do I just think it's so cool that you can literally just stand on this thing so that right there kinda shows you already that this is built tough now you can see that's a good what like two two and a half feet tall um, very serious. Just imagine like rolling up to a party with this thing and just like sitting on it. I don't know. I just think that's so exciting. That's awesome. Um, so all these corners have rubber bumpers that are supposed to be like shock resistant. You can drop it, beat it up, whatever. Um, and then you got these big handles on both sides and they're some kind of a metal aluminum or something like that. Really durable. Uh, dent proof grill right here you can see we got one woofer here one woofer here and this is that compression tweeter some sound box sound box branding on this other side your control panel is right here where you have your power your bluetooth your volume and your uh, connection settings on the other side the same handle that you get here. Uh, this hole that goes all the way through, see my face? So that hole that goes all the way through is for the base, it's called a base reflex port. And uh, it's specifically designed to make it so that you have no like distortion at higher volumes when, 
when those woofers are bumping, it's pushing and sucking a lot of air through that, but it's designed so that it doesn't make any like noise as the air is going in and out, so it's really sweet. The box material here is poplar wood, and um, and then they have some sort of, I think it's an aluminum framing on the corners and the outside. So taking this off, let's see. Plug in your fully charged battery box and press power to get going. Crap. The, that means I have to charge the battery fully. That's the best thing to do before I can play it. I don't wanna wait. All right guys, so I'm actually going to wait and I'm gonna charge the battery fully. I just wanna do this right. Uh, I don't know exactly what could happen if you don't, but I'm just gonna play it safe. I'm gonna plug the battery in, let it fully charge before I even test it out. Trust me guys, I really wanna test it out right now. But, um, so momentarily while we're waiting, I am going on an adventure tomorrow, and you know what? I'm going to bring this, and I'm going to test it out. Doing some four-wheeling and some cool adventuring, hopefully finding some cool mines. So, I'll be back with a fully charged battery, and we're going to make some noise. Alright guys, we're back, and the battery is fully charged. But, before I put that in, I'm going to finish going over this real quick, because I never finished. So, one thing I forgot is on the bottom here... There's a, a port for, uh, it's like for setting it up on a tripod. So if you've ever seen the speaker tripods, they have like a, a rod that sticks up and the speaker like slides on top of that. So you can actually get this up high for actually like doing concerts. This is the newest version of the sound box. So they have a new technology uh, through SCAR where you can connect up to four more of these speakers. So five total of these speakers wirelessly connected and playing the music at the same time so if you want to buy two or three or four or five of these you can connect them all or if you have friends who have the same speaker you can connect them as well uh, wirelessly on the controls here like I said power button here's the volume knob and one thing that's really interesting that Soundbox does is they make the volume knob go to 11 which is very unique I don't think anyone else does that and so they just kinda use that as like a little um, sales thing like take your volume all the way up to 11 so that's kinda fun on the back the team ID I'm not sure if this is the number of like the speaker produced or not uh, by Soundbox, but that's kind of neat. It just like makes it like a little bit special. That you got your own number, and then uh, back here is. So I'll let you read that. Um, but basically, you have a aux port, an aux in, you have an aux out, so you can use those to daisy chain this, which is actually really sweet, with cords with other speakers. Um, and then you have these two, what are these called? CH1 and CH2. They're uh, basically for like professional DJ mixers. So if you guys are uh, into like doing DJing, which I'm actually kind of like hoping to open my, like expand my horizon into a little bit more professional like DJing. I've done like school dance before and like some other like parties. So I think that'd be cool. That's kind of part of the reason I spent so much money on the speaker. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get a DJ mixer, we'll see. Um, but yeah, you can plug that in here, so this just makes it a little bit more professional for you. And this is something that the the older versions of this speaker don't have. And then there's a, it's a, it says it's a SCA bond button. Download the SCA receiver user's guide. So I'm not sure what that does, I think it might adjust the left and right, so SCA is like their wireless pairing for like if you have two of these so I think it's like for left and right for like stereo sound but I'm not quite sure what that means I guess I guess we'll put the uh, we'll put the battery in 
Let's do it. So if you come over here, I let this charge. So quick stats on this battery. Soundbox claims that you get 40 hours of battery life, 40 hours of battery life with one full charge. And that is rated on about half volume with this speaker. Um, and then if you're playing it at full volume, you get five hours of battery life. And that's a significant drop, but think about this. When are you gonna be playing five hours straight of full concert level sound music? I mean, you can definitely do it, but practically, at least for what I'm using it for, I don't think I'll ever do that. So really it's not a big deal. But even if you do, you can buy multiple of these batteries and change them out. So that's just, that's awesome. You can never, never end here. So let's, let's see how we put the, how we plug this in. So it looks like right there is where the power cord plugs in. So we're just going to slide this, slide this in there. And it has a pretty snug fit and it actually recesses. And then I think this is just a uh, this is just a pull handle to pull it back out because it is it is pretty tight in there. So if you guys are scared that it's gonna fall out, I really don't think it will. Hopefully over time it doesn't get looser. But and then you just uh, plug it in like that. So I don't know if I'm ready for this. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> Oh man. All right. Um, so we're going to get my uh, cameraman, my good friend Dean, his phone connected. He's got SoundCloud. I don't have SoundCloud. Um, and we're going to play some non-copyright music while recording. And you guys can see my first impressions of hearing music being played out of this the very first time. Um, and then... After that, I'm going to play some music that is copyright, so I'm not going to record it, but just to like, like hear songs that I'm familiar with, and then I'll let you guys know what I think. So to connect it, we're just first going to turn the power on, and you can see we got these cool lights. Um, this is the volume knob. We'll leave that on three right now. There's a Bluetooth pairing light at the bottom. Uh, this is we probably won't use this because we only have one of these this is for when you chain multiple of them so there's a join which i believe if you do that it'll connect wirelessly with other ones solo means that you're just using this one solo and then host is where you can be like if you're connecting multiple of these like this would be the one that controls i believe looking on the phone here sound box pops up on the bluetooth settings we're just going to click it and the the light on the speaker for the bluetooth stops flashing showing the that it's connected are the same. oh really yeah. nice so the number on your phone when it pops up on the bluetooth is the same so this is a samsung phone i have an iphone um but since uh dean has soundcloud we'll be playing music on that dean you can feel free to to comment a little bit on this too. So, uh, yeah, that, I'm scared. All right, let's do it. So the volume's all the way up on the phone and then I'll just adjust it here. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely out of sight. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us.
My ears are kind of ringing. Mine too. Uh, first impressions from that. The bass is not as good as I thought it would be. But I think that could be the sound. There's a lot of factors that that could be. It could be the SoundCloud um, vid like video. So we're going to try a different song. And then it could also be the fact that it's connected to a Samsung. Uh, but it shouldn't be that. And then another thing is that there's an app that you get on your phone to adjust the like the sound on this and you can actually there's a bass boost function so um that's probably I, what you got to do yeah i'll download that app and we'll try that but let's try another song right now uh but that was that was loud right that was pretty loud my ears are kind of ringing all right this is the second song we're going to listen to camera with some songs that we're familiar with and uh, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys because that's what I do on this channel and I'm a little I'm disappointed in the bass I was expecting the bass to sound a, like just shake your heart like I mean there's two 10 inch woofers on here my Last car had a one 10 inch subwoofer and it bumped a lot harder than this. And not not saying like, I don't know, I just don't know. So I connected my phone to it and instantly when I started playing music on my phone, I played the same song that Dean played on his Samsung phone. And he has a Samsung Galaxy S7, so it's an older one. And I don't know what, I mean, there, like I said before, there's a lot of variabil variables um, to why they s could sound different. As soon as I played the same song that Dean played on his Samsung on my iPhone, which I have the iPhone XR, um, or the iPhone XR, it instantly sounded better, but still the bass just doesn't like, it just doesn't hit as hard as I thought it would, and I was like, I'm just... I think I hyped myself up a lot, um, just expecting that it would be a lot more punchy and deep. How does it compare to your old speaker with two 8 sub-inch woofers? Yeah, so the speaker I had before this was an Alltech Lansing Expedition 8. I have a review on that on my channel, and that one, I think sound it had better bass this is okay don't get me wrong this is loud this is the loudest that's for sure like my ears are kind of ringing still and so here's here's what i'm thinking about the bass is before i continue to bash on it is i'm hope and this is what i'm hoping is that they like the woofers the drivers in this speaker need to get broken in so i'm hoping after playing more music through it, more hours of music that it'll get broken in and sound better. It already seems like it's gotten better since we first played the first song. So I'm hoping that's the case. 
and that it actually bumps because I saw a lot of reviews that people said that it has like a lot of bass and like almost too much and I just don't I'm not getting that from this right now and uh, we've played I don't know f five to seven songs on it and uh, just different like genres and stuff and I don't know so but compared to the Octec Lansing Expedition 8 this isn't a comparison video but just a quick that one had two eight inch woofers and I think at high volumes it had a, a more bassy punch to it for sure um, this one, when you turn it up, like, the louder you turn it up, the less, like, deep the bass gets, and it kind of is just, like, really, like, harsh on your ears. It's for, like, it's for spreading sound in a larger area, because right now we're in, like, a garage, and, uh, so if this was outside and we were far away, like, it would sound good, and that's why it has to have, like, really high like vocals and things like that but just the bass as of right now is not is not very pleasing but you know one thing that is really reassuring is that they have a 100 day free return policy on this so if I don't like it for any reason then I can return it within 100 days and that's a long time so so hopefully we can get it broken into like I said we're taking it on an adventure tomorrow so I actually just looked up on my phone if like subwoofers and speakers have like a break-in period and I found one on a clips clips website which is a speaker brand and they said that break-in period could be up to a hundred hours of playtime for full break-in where it just like loosens up the components like the drivers and everything so as of right now it's it's kinda sad and Dean agrees with me it's kinda pathetic but I truly think that it's going to break in. <laughs> I'm really hoping that it breaks in, guys. Because if it doesn't, I might actually return it. $900 is what I paid for this. Which, if it if it if the bass doesn't get better, like... For 900 you should be getting better than that. Yeah, exactly. The general sound quality, like, it actually has really good sound quality. Like I said, turning it up to higher volumes in a small room like this. Well, it's not that small, but in a room like this... It, it like kind of hurts your ears because the vocals and just the higher frequencies are really harsh um, and that's meant for projecting further distances in like crowds and stuff um, but sound quality is I haven't noticed any sort of um, any sort of distortion and it, it sounds really clear um, so I, I do like that but I just really hope that the bass uh, the bass gets more punchy and uh, more concert-like bass, because even sitting up right next to it, you can't really like feel that bass feeling inside you. So I downloaded the app on my phone. There's three settings. There's indoor, outdoor, and bass boost, which I tried all three of them. The indoor setting is kind of weird. It's like when you turn the volume up and the bass hits, it like makes it like makes the bass sound quieter like you can hear it like quiet down so I don't know why that is and then there's the power mode which is like outdoor mode where it just blasts making the sound go as far as possible and then there's the bass plus which doesn't honestly sound that much different but like I said I'm really just hoping that they need to be broken into I'm pretty sure I've heard that like subwoofers and things like that have to get broken in so hopefully that's the case and uh, I'll keep you updated for sure um, I'll have a actual review, review on this after uh, at least a month of having it um, to give you a better update and everything on it some more details but one more thing that I forgot to mention is that this is I think it's a IPX5 water resistant rating they coated the internals of this speaker so even the internal electronics if they get damp water or whatever it's not going to harm it you don't want to submerge it in water, but like if you're playing music out in the rain, snow, uh, if it gets splashed on spilled drinks, that's all going to be good. So uh, that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment down below. If you guys have one of these, if you have one of these, or you know someone who has one and you've heard it before, tell me what you think about the bass specifically if you want to keep updated 
I'll just be keeping you updated every once in a while. So subscribe and turn on post notifications. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.